Hey guys, I'm Thomas from Joybox Custom Print and today I will be helping you to try and put a stop to the silly, pesky double cut lines whilst using Illustrator. Um, now, we've all been there. You've uh, designed and, uh, you know, set your printer up to print off 100 or whatever, 200, 500, 1,000 stickers or whatever. And um, he's done a lovely job of printing it and it comes to cutting it out and it cuts everything twice, which is really annoying. Um, so, the good news is I know what causes it and I know how to stop it. Um, so, let's get to it and I will show you how you can stop it as well. Because, as I say, it is super annoying. So, what we're going to do now is jump onto Illustrator. Um, I've got a file here which I've got open, um, which is just my logo. And what I'm going to do is put... Um, make a cut line for it basically because this is what you would be doing yourself uh, with any piece of artwork that you're doing so i'm going to go ahead and uh, start a circle because i like to have a nice circle to enclose this uh, so let's double click there uh, let's go 200 okay so i've got a nice cut line you can see here um i use a mamaki printer as you well know so you can see here that i've got my preset here for the cut line color uh, the spot color um so what you can see now is that I've got a lovely little uh, line around here. Where's it gone? Oh no, it's not even the right color. So let's give it that. Okay, so I've got a lovely cut line there. Um, now the problem is, what is it? What's happened now? Now that I've made this this uh, line, Illustrator is converting the stroke to an outline okay so you would imagine what you want is one line that just cuts around your sticker um, or whatever design it is you're doing but what illustrator is doing is converting that uh, line to an outline so it's got two edges an outside edge and an inside edge so whilst you go into cut your sticker out uh, it looks like it's doing the same cut twice it's not it is actually doing two different cut lines they're just so close together um, it looks like they are so uh, if I zoom in on this you can see that I have got the stroke is right in the middle of this um, and even though it displays that line being in the middle you would imagine that to be your one cut line there's actually two um, and it's all to do with transparency now I'm not going to claim to be an expert in transparency because it is complicated I don't understand all the ins and outs if I'm being completely honest with you but I do know how to stop this pesky double cut line and I'm going to show you how right now. So, uh, I'll zoom back out of this here. Oh, a bit more there. Okay, so, how we ascertain whether you're going to get a double cut line, if you go to, uh, what you need to do is you need to select your outline that we've got here, the little outline that you've just made, and go to Object, and then flatten transparency and you'll see it brings up this little box here, little dialog box with all of these settings and this is what the issue is just here it's a little check box that says convert all strokes to outlines now you've added the stroke because that literally is what your cut line consists of is a stroke in a predetermined spot color in illustrator and that is what your program raster link will read uh, whilst going to print so if this little check box is ticked you are basically going to have two cut lines, okay? Uh, it really is as simple as that. So how we can stop that is just by unclicking this and clicking OK. And you will notice, or well, I notice, because this is how I sort of figure out uh, whether I'm going to have a double cut line or not. Um, as I've changed that setting, my little box here is just simply a circle with the outer like uh, boundaries and all that kind of stuff. Now. If there was a double cut line, if I go back in and change this setting to convert all strokes to outlines, you will notice absolutely nothing happened there. I don't know why that's done that. <laughs> so let's just uh, cancel that. And uh, Normally, what will happen when you've got transparency, you'll have a little, little dot in the middle, uh, which gives you an indication that there is some transparency going on there. Um, like I said, I don't really understand it. But I do know that if you have unchecked this, okay, um then you can go ahead and align these up together so we've got a nice uh, little composition there ready to go lovely okay so a couple of other little observations i've got for you um 
when you are making your cut line, sometimes it will convert the uh, the stroke to outlines and sometimes it won't. So it, as a matter of course, just make it something that you do every time with your artwork before you go to print. Just select the cut line, um, object, flatten transparency, and make sure that the convert all strokes to outline box is not checked. If it is checked, you will get a double cut line. Okay, so you can go ahead and cancel it. So yeah, click OK on that, and then you can save your file. Um, now, another thing, I always design on my laptop and print from my, uh, I normally design on my laptop when I'm at home in the evening, um, the day before I go to print. And then I'll, my, I will um, take the artwork from my laptop and place it onto my work uh, desktop computer, which is hooked up to my Miraki. And uh, one thing I have noticed, even having changed the transparency settings so the stroke is not converted to curves, in putting that file onto a flash drive, converting it, sorry, and then transferring it onto my desktop PC, when I open up that artwork on my desktop PC, um, the settings have changed, okay? So then the stroke is being converted to outlines, which we don't want. So again, if I ever transfer any artwork from one system to another, I'll just go in again via object, flatten transparency, and uh, just check that this little checkbox is not ticked and then we can go ahead and save that and uh, go to print it's always a good idea basically just to uh, you know go in and just run off a you know a little line five or ten little stickers and allow it to do a full full uh, print and cut just so you can be doubly sure because it is really annoying when you print off 100 200 500 stickers um only to have to reprint the whole job so those couple of minutes spent uh, in doing so can save you a hell of a lot of time in the long run um i don't think there's anything else to cover there really I don't know why Illustrator does this, it is very annoying, but um, it was causing me to pull my hair out, I've got a bit of a bald patch going on now, uh, when I first got my Memaki, because I can, could not for the life of me figure out why sometimes I was getting like a normal cut line and other times it was just doubling up uh, and it was absolutely doing my head in um, and it's just the default setting basically in Illustrator um, so I hope that has uh, cleared that up for some of you guys and you found that useful uh, if you have please feel free to subscribe uh, give us a like and leave a comment below if you like and uh, I will be back shortly with some more tutorial videos hope you enjoy your Mamaki as much as I enjoy mine I will see you later